Holy shit, I should not have done that. That was heavier than I thought it was. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Poke here. We're here back with uh, this week's episode. As you can see, I've got the uh, Cosmic Eclipse booster box, which is pretty epic. Yeah, let's, I guess, dig right into this thing because this is going to be long otherwise. I think this thing was about, like, maybe 80 bucks when I bought it. I've actually never held a... um. A Pokemon booster box before. I've never opened one of these, never have I really bought one of these either. I think I remember buying a Yu-Gi-Oh booster box I remember buying a while ago, but um, otherwise, yeah, I, I don't remember buying any of these as a code card. Pokemon booster boxes are a bit weird. They have 36 packs, if I recall correctly. Ooh, this is gonna be a bit annoying with this light. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bear with this, this uh, lighting really quickly until I have time to fix it, but uh, I can't remember what I was talking about. It's gonna be a bit blurry for this first back, I apologize. No easy way of me fixing it at the moment, but um, yeah. Lana's fishing rod is the reverse, and we got a normal crate Illy. Yeah, let me go ahead and fix this lighting real quick. I am hoping that that will be a bit better, but uh, let's, I guess, all we can really do is hope, and you know, all I could really do is, I guess, actually, uh, you know, pay attention to the camera. The main issue was that one of the lights was to my right, and now they're just kind of both to my uh, left. It's kind of blinding, actually. Lily's Full Force, Ends Resolved, Larvesa, Eevee, Flabebe. It's kind of blurring up. Sneasel, Natu, Trapinch, Solgaleo, Reverse. That's actually really nice. And the... Woo! Okay, we already we already saw this one. We, we got one of these in a pack. Uh, maybe, I think, two videos ago, maybe? Very swag. I'm actually going to remove the uh, booster box from the background because I think it might be with the focus code card i have no clue how long this video is gonna be and i'm Ooh. Ooh. what the f what is happening celio what i am so confused right now my focus is completely fucked up i think i fixed it i have no clue if i'm being honest no i did not fix it cosmilium dust skull Timpol, piplup cosmog Ponita. whoa that's pretty cool, actually. I have no idea what's going on at the moment, but my focus keeps going out of it. I could just be blinded by all the light, I have no idea, but legitimately, that's so weird. But yeah, Glade Reverse, and the rare is gonna be a normal Brave Gear. My camera's having so many issues, so... I apologize about that ahead of time. Code card. I honestly have no idea what's going on with it at the moment. You can probably tell what's going on as we uh, go through this video. I keep, like, switching light sources and stuff because... There's so many issues going on with all this focusing. Like, look at this. Like, it should not be having this issue. I don't know what's going on, honestly. It's just straight up not focusing anymore. It's so f***ing weird. Dartrix, Cottony, Rowlet, Phantump, Alolan Grimer, Magnemite, Lantern Reverse, and the rare is a normal Sunflora. I apologize for all these, like, lighting changes and whatnot, but, um, at the moment I'm just trying to, like, do a, uh, live, I guess, fixing of this. Code card. Let's hope it fixes it. I apologize if the episode isn't as good as my last episodes, as my last video, as I would say, because definitely the last video was pretty good in terms of quality. Um, but yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Flabebe, Tangela, Duskull Reverse, and the rare is a... Is that a hollow? No, Fion. Just Fion normal. I know that you guys hated it last, uh, my first video when uh, I would keep apologizing for stuff. And I'm kind of repeating it at the moment, but, um, code card. But, uh, I don't know, I just, it just kind of angers me that, uh, suddenly I'm just having many, many issues that were never present before. And all of a sudden it's just like, hey, we're gonna fuck up while you open this booster box, which is, you know, arguably probably, you know, your biggest investment for this channel yet. And we got a flow, a flo Flor Florgus? I don't know what that is. I forgot that Pokemon exists. Kind of off topic. Well, yeah, I guess kind of off topic. Um, how have, you, how have you guys been doing ever since my last video? I've seen a lot of you saying that you've been looking at your your old Pokemon cards and stuff ever since starting this channel, which I think is pretty, pretty basic when it comes to um, Pokemon channels, it seems. Like, I see people always saying this about other Pokemon YouTubers, and it's kind of weird seeing it for myself, because I'll get tweets about it, basically saying, like, oh, you got me back in, a po in Pokemon cards and stuff like that. I'm like, damn, bro, like, I, I, oh, hey, I think we might have already seen this before, but uh, on the off chance we haven't, then I guess there you go. As I was saying, I just find it funny that, um, 
I got like a couple people already back. That pack opened so weirdly. I got a couple people back in a Pokemon cards by just simply uploading like two times at this point. Like it's insane, honestly. I find it pretty funny. Also very cool. Just uh, just be just make sure you're smarter with your money. <laughs> if you can afford it, by all means, you can you can do whatever you want. You know, you can buy as many cards as you want. But um, if you don't have the money to spare, I would not recommend getting into this as a hobby. It is very expensive. Sawsbuck Reverse. It's like the shine itself is f***ing with the focus. It's so weird, man. Like, look at this. Maybe I'm just going blind and, like, the video for all I know is just fine. Maybe it's just because there's a light in my face. I have no idea. We're about, like, um, maybe 25% through the box so far. Pretty, pretty quickly, to be honest. I'm surprised how quick this has been. Code card. We've had also many issues in regards to the camera, so not too surprising, I guess. Because half of that footage is probably just me bitching about the camera. But nonetheless, Vibrava, great catcher, trainer card. Whoa, Dragonium Z Dragon Claw. That looks that looks important. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Coughing, Drillbur, uh, Swirlix, Cricketot, Woobat, Trap Inch Reverse, and the rare is a normal Weavile. I believe, if I recall correctly, you're entitled to at least one hyper rare in these booster boxes. Oh my god, that is glued. I could be wrong on that, however. Code card, one, two, three, to the front, and then one on the back in case you're curious about the sun and moon trick. Professor's Oak Setup, Pig Knight, Unidentified Fossil, Togedomaru, Onyx, Whalmer, Palpitoad, oh, well, we freaked out there. Cricketot, and didn't we just get a Cricketot? I don't know. Macargo Reverse, and the rare is, whoa, speaking of, there is our hyper rare, I believe, of the box. That is sick. How do you even say that guy's name? Nagandel? Naganadel, I think, and Guzzler GX, hyper rare. That is nuts. I'm gonna put this into a sleeve before it perishes inside of my filthy, disgusting hands. Very nice, very nice. I'd recommend against penis sleeves. They're, they're pretty bad, to be honest. Watch as that card is probably like the most like, non-viable card in the game, and it's just not worth anything. I think most of the worth for cards, though, um, usually vary on also collecting. I don't know. I don't know how big of a difference it makes, to be honest. Red and blue, that's a very- I love that trading card. I don't really like the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee games, but that is a cool f***ing card. Tropius, Togedomaru, Passimian, Rowlet. Ooh, too excited. Jesus, I just took, like, four cards off the thing. Lillipop. Skrelp, I think that says? Pikachu. Steelix Reverse. Ooh, nice. I think that's, yeah, that's Jasmine in the picture. It's pretty cool. And the rare is a Swana. I keep, like, mentioning that I'm going to work more with this camera and just try and get the best quality possible. And it's like, I legitimately get so lazy to a point where I just don't even, like, do it half the time. Which is a bad, which is very bad. I should really start, like, messing with camera angles and uh, lighting and whatnot. So yeah, I'll, I'll be definitely doing that before my next video, I hope, depending on if I'm lazy or not. Tepig, Lillipup Reverse, I always liked Lillipup. I think like Statland in general is a very like underrated Pokemon personally. And the rare is an Embor. speaking of Gen 5. But yeah, I think, I think the Lillipup uh, family, in terms of that like whole thing, I think it's a really good Pokemon. Um, and it kind of sucks because it seems like a lot of people don't like it too much. Which is a shame, because it's a really cool Pokemon, in my opinion. Not only looks cool, it, it's also a very, like, very well-rounded. Um, I think you can teach it, like, all the Fang moves if I... Oh, Delmize, speaking of which, hello, Bat... Hello, Banner Man. But yeah, it, it's got a lot of coverage to it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Eevee Reverse, and the rare is a Whimsicott. Speaking of generations, what's your guys' favorite gen in Pokemon? If I had to guess for myself, I'd probably say maybe Gen 5. Which is probably a basic, basic answer. Um, oh my gosh, can you focus? Thank you. Um, which is probably the most basic answer, but honestly, like, it's probably the most replayable, like, generation for me. Besides, like, Fire Red and Leaf Green. I played those games, like, criminally too much uh, as a kid. I, it legit got to a point where, like, I know all the rare candy locations. It's kind of scary, actually. Phantump, and the rare is a Heliosk. With Pokemon games, I find myself not really, like actually fully playing the after game? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this, dude. Look at this. It is insane. I found myself not really playing the after game too much with games, which is kind of weird, but um, I hopefully plan on doing that with Sword and Shield, which uh, I actually should finish soon, honestly. I legitimately, like, have not 
have not finished that game yet. And it's been out for what, like, almost a month, I think? Stuffle Reverse, and the rare is a Dragalge. We are, I think, two packs away from being done with the left side. I'm actually surprised how long this booster box has lasted, if I'm being completely real here. I'm hoping this will focus eventually. Please focus, please. Please, I just want to give this code card away. Thank you. Thank you for finally focusing. Rod, Chaotic Swell, Type Null, Pikachu, Stuffle, Ponyard, Litleo, Coughing, Island Challenge Amulet Reverse, and the rare is going to be a Trevenant. Dude, these Pokemon things, they are insane in size. It is ridiculous. Like I said, I never really opened them before, but oh my lord, this is a huge box. Bisharp, Torkoal, Gloom, Oddish, Ralts, Sandigast, Sfeel, Cottony, Lycanroc Reverse, and a Gallade Hollow. I'm sure you guys remember myself um, saying that I basically only collect uh, the Evolutions packs, cards, and I believe Hidden Fates it was. And honestly, at this point, it might change considering how many Cosmic Eclipse packs I've opened at this point. Like, goodness me, I have a lot of them. Also, I love these Tag Team Trainer cards. They're so sick looking. Anorith, Gloom. Oh, once again, taking too many cards. Feel. They stick to each other, like, really easily. Passimian, another underrated Pokemon in my opinion. Rowlet, Lillipup, Skrelp, Alolan Meowth Reverse. And the rare is going to be a Drampa. We are now starting the left side of the box. And honestly, we have not seen a GX, like, since that Hyper Rare, I believe. Which is pretty weird. Let's hope we can get some more of those, I guess. Also, another thing I want to mention is that I kind of pre-record these videos. Spoiler alert. Yeah, very sad. By the time this video goes up, it is going to be Cosmog Reverse, by the way. And a Lantern Regular. By the time this goes up, it's going to be Christmas already. So, well, way past Christmas, honestly. I think it'd be like the 27th, roughly. So I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Feel free to share whatever you got. If you want to, you're free to do that. Christmas is pretty interesting. Uh, pretty basic in terms of how I spend it, though. You know, with family, usually. Um, but yeah, there's that. Pikachu Reverse and a Fion. It's legit to a point where, oh my goodness, like... I am- I can't even stack cards up anymore. I have to start a new stack for these. Oh boy, ridiculous. Goad card. Another thing I've noticed about these cards is that they're very slippery, which is also another issue. Bisharp, Torkoal, Gloom, Alolan Sandshrew, Ponyta, Sunkern, Cosmog, Psyduck, Glalie Reverse. I really like Glalie. Also, we have something on the back there. I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but uh, yeah, I love Glalie. He's a pretty cool Pokemon, too. And the reverse is, or the reverse, the rare is going to be... Ooh, Money! Ooh, that is pretty sick. I'm a big fan of that one, Chief. Reshiram and Zekrom GX. And not only is it just that such, like, cool art, like, N is just chilling there doing a Jotaro pose. That's so rad. I adjusted my camera a bit. I apologize. I've been adjusting it a lot this, this episode. We are still pretty decent in packs. I legitimately, like, rolled over to my desk. <laughs> and there are a lot of pack, uh, pack, um, opening things. What are they called? The pack, the, 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 the things that hold the packs. Gosh darn it, what are the names? I don't know. There's a lot of trash on my floor, essentially. Yeah. Cricketot, Apom, Roller Skater, and the rare is going to be a Beware. More trash on the ground. There is the code card. Misty and Lorelei, another really cool card. Um, it looks like just, yeah, they literally just, like, plopped on the renders of that game. Um, onto a card, which isn't a bad thing, but, um, yeah, it's still nice nonetheless. Okay, we just messed that up. I apologize. Flabebe. And a Weavile. We have seen this card so much, or at least I personally have. And the rare is going to be, uh, Ursaring. I think if I can get, like, two more GXs, I'd be satisfied with this box. To be honest, I don't really know what to expect from what we can really get from these boxes. Because if we factor in that it's 36 packs and whatnot, then it's like, what can we really expect from them? <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what's fair to expect, but again, it is 36, 36 packs. Togedemaru, Sfeel, and the rare is a Walrian. That is a non-hollow. At first I thought it was. At this point, I kind of talked about all I really wanted to talk about, so forgive me for my, uh, terrible commentary abilities. Like I said, I'm very much used to video game videos. Not usually this type of uh, IRL content, I suppose, which isn't really IRL, but I'd still consider it IRL because it's literally in real life. Dry Energy, Cosmomium, Co how do you say that name? What? Cosmoium. Cosmium? 
I don't care. Clay, Slugma, Chinchow, Cosmog, Pancham, Drillbur, Wilbur, Piplup Reverse, and the rare is going to be an Alolan Ninetales Hollow. Very nice. I am running out of space to put cards. I had a pile of them just topple over. So that was a pain in the, in the ass. Clefairy, Ambipom, Golduck, Snorunt, Rockruff, Deerling. I love this Pokemon, by the way. This Pokemon and, uh, what's his name? Sawsbuck. They're so cool. Love those guys. Teddy Ursa, Golette, Alolan Sandshrew Reverse. Got the, got the little CSGO Silver 1 rank, I see. And the rare is going to be, oh, there it is. There is another GX. Another really cool one where they, uh, they implemented the trainer. They might do that with all of them. Who, who I don't know. By the way, in case you guys ever think that for whatever reason, after the first video, I was just not accepting criticism anymore, feel free to consider with criticism or continue with criticism. I don't know why I said consider there. I still greatly appreciate it because it's not like I'm going to become a pro after three videos. That is not at all how it works. Hakamo'o? 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 I don't know. Pertier, Celio, Apom, Lubat, Ducklet, Swirlix, I don't like this Pokemon, it's so weird, I legitimately want to ingest it. Alolan Grimer, Deerling Reverse, and the rare is going to be a Mimikyu. Ever since I moved into my new place, they have like, I don't know what brand they are, but they have these like, how you say, freezers, like in gas stations with milkshakes in all of them. Like different flavors and whatnot. I've been buying them a lot, and it's become a problem of mine. I legitimately woke up this morning, and I was like, I want a milkshake at like 8 a.m. Keep in mind, it also snows here, by the way. Great catcher, reverse, and the rare is a seismitoad. But yeah, it snows here. So I wonder what the people think when they see my dumbass walk into like a gas station and just buy a milkshake when it's like 23 degrees outside. It's just how it be, sadly, you know? California boy myself, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really used to the snow, but now I'm already used to it basically at this point. I mean, sure, it's still cold, but that's just how it is going to be. It's not like I'm going to adapt and not need a jacket anymore, you know? Um, yeah, Flabebe, Curlia, Reverse, and the rare is going to be an Am Armaldo. Oh yeah, those are that are curious, by the way. In case you don't watch my streams or follow me on Twitter and are mostly just on YouTube, I don't think I've actually mentioned where I'm moving to in a video. Yeah, I moved to South Dakota. There's your answer. You're welcome. I know you're very curious. Dartrix, Cosmoium, Mawile, Oddish, Rufflet, Piplup, Alolan Vulpix, Rockruff, Magnemite, Reverse, and the rare is going to be a Decidueye Hollow. I need to get like another binder to fit the uh, Cosmic Eclipse set if I'm gonna collect them, or at least I might as well at this point if I'm gonna collect them, you know? I bought so many of these packs, like I probably filled the set already in terms of commons. That's actually not true. Like legitimately, it is so hard to get all the commons. I can I can, I can, can vouch for that in terms of the evolutions and Hidden Fates uh, sets that I have. Steelix Reverse and the rare is going to be a little Persian GX, the fat-headed I don't know what Nintendo was thinking with this card. <laughs> or this Pokemon, I mean. Code card. I wonder how many of these code cards go unused because people think that somebody already took them already. I'm just letting you guys know Delmize. There's the banner boy. I'm just letting you guys know. Um, I would recommend trying the code cards if you truly want them enough. Because there's always that chance that somebody doesn't actually use them. Torkoal, Reverse, and Sawsbuck Hollow, my boy. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this box. I think we have like four packs after this one left. But yeah, Haka, Hakamomo, Haka, Hakamo Owo, uh, Rodom, Type Null, Eevee, Duskull, Timple, Flabebe, Alolan Sandshrew, Drillbur Reverse, Wilbur Wilbur, and the rare is a Swoobat. Swoobat's probably like my least favorite Pokemon of Gen 5. We have three packs left, boys. It is almost over. The pain has almost subsided for you guys. You don't have to listen to me ramble on anymore. There's the code card. I'm getting better at these card tricks for sure. Banana Chin, Togedomaru, Absol, Lillipup, Trapinch, Sneasel, Sweel, Alolan Meowth, Zangoose Reverse, and the rare is going to be an Alolan Sand Slash. Here's hoping for one final GX or something, boys. Also, it seems like my hypothesis of there being uh, only one Hyper Rare per box is kind of true. I think it might have been common knowledge, though, I'm not sure. Heracross, Araquanid, Throw, Ponyta, Sunkern, Cosmog, Psyduck, Trap Pinch, Torkoal, Reverse. Already have that one, I think. 
but cool nonetheless. And the rare is going to be a Entei. Ooh, I actually have another booster box as well as a huge thing for Hidden Fates that I'll eventually open. I have a lot of Hidden Fates stuff, by the way. I'm just I'm just getting you guys prepared for that. I bought a lot of it because I wanted it. Flareon, Roller Skater. Again, this is the last pack, by the way. Clefairy, Ralts, Passimian, Jangmo, Uwo, Owo, yeah. Rowlet, oh. Skrulp, Ponyard, is that a reverse? Yeah, that's a reverse, kind of hard to tell. And the last card is going to be Nadrampa. That is the end of this box. As you can tell, there is nothing left inside of it. It is a husk of its former self. I have ingested all the cards that came inside of this box. And honestly, I think we did pretty well for ourselves. Did we probably make a profit? Hell no, you do not ever make profits with these things, I think. At least for the price. You legitimately have to build, like pull like at least the top card for these boxes, and maybe then some to get a profit. Um, chances are I probably lost a decent bit, but for all I know, who knows? Maybe that, maybe one of those cards was like 80 bucks or some stupid shit and I just didn't realize it. Thank you guys for watching. You can feel free to click a video, uh, maybe like right here or maybe right here, I think I do it. Yeah, right there, you can, you can click a video in case you wanna keep watching, you're a new viewer, go ahead and do that. You can also sub like right here or something and you can go to my main channel like right here, I believe. Thank you guys for sticking with this long video. Oh my gosh, it's probably like 20 minutes and I'm just, I'm just capping. Who knows though? But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. See you guys. See you guys next Friday.